welcome to the Creative Grove. My name is Ingrid Blackburn and I am going to show you today how to make banner flags using the hexagon punch. Banner flags are just a nice simple way of adding a greeting to your card or perhaps adding a decorative element to your card. You can see there's, you can create a matted background for it. You can just create a really fancy way to highlight something on your card or you can actually make it the focal point of your project, such as this, making different banners for the greeting as well as the actual card itself. So Elena was curious on how to actually use the hexagon punch versus the square punch that I had showed you before. So let's go ahead and give you a quick little tutorial on how to do that. This is a piece of paper from the Season of Style Designer Series paper stack in the Winter Mini Catalog. What I'm going to do here is I have our hexagon punch and I'm going to use this upside down. So I'm going to open that up so that I can see this negative space. I'm going to place these two points into the negative space. I'm going to make sure that my point here is lined up in the center and then I'm just going to go ahead and punch. That's easy, isn't it? Anybody can do this just like that. Now you might be wondering, well, what do I do, Ingrid, if I don't have the hexagon punch? Well, you can go ahead and use a one inch square punch. Same concept, you're gonna bring your two points right here into your negative space. So you can see that they're both there. There's the first one, there's the second one. I'm gonna line this point up right here in the center, find my greeting, give myself some space here, and punch. And there you go. Now you can always leave just one and cut a straight edge to add that to your card. For instance, just like this one. Or you can go ahead and do both sides, such as this one. The final way that you can actually make a banner is by using your paper snips. You're gonna cut from the middle up using your snips and from both sides. You can either cut from the corners and just meet that little point at about the same distance, and there you go. That's the, probably the easiest way of doing it. You can also create a banner no matter how wide your cardstock is. For instance, let's say your punch doesn't fit in there, you know that you can always use your trusty paper snips. So I hope you like that little creative tip today. Thanks, Aleda, for your question. I hope that everybody learned a little something. I look forward to seeing you around the Creative Grove, and maybe in a class someday. Bye-bye.